Alright, and then we also have another pass. So say Andy can win. He kicks. Alright, say he already kicked, whatever. Stop. So after y'all kick, you're gonna basically gonna relocate to the same side of me. Say the pass is right here, he's gonna pass it. And then you and that guy are gonna line for five seconds. Alright, time to Alright, that's it. Alright, uh, cross rotation goes. Uh, the shooter is going to end line after. The vendor is going over here. It's going to be the shooter, and then person who's uh, offense is going to be on defense. Alright, the next person lines will be on offense. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Alright, so that's my pay this right here. Alright, close the passer. Alright, my pay this right here. Green. Yeah. Oh shit, that head's crazy. That was super tough. Gotta get that closer right there. That was tough. Good rebound, Gary. I like that rebound, Gary. What you guys see? Be quiet, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? That's a good game. That's a good Oh, that was tough. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, stretch. Big bro.
Uh, Jawan? Justin. Wait, no, 
the last time. Uh, and I'm happy that uh, this guy took you know, me and put the little shot clock. I feel like they kind of made more higher pace. Um, so I feel like the vibe was overall better. I played a little harder. Uh, still can play a little harder though. Um, I would say like the one thing I liked that Andrew did was uh, he was, I guess you could say dominating and playing really well without having the ball in his hands all the time. And I feel like that's something that like uh, pretty much everyone in here can learn how to do better is, you know, screen away. Uh, go down low, set up with somebody, uh, set a ball screen. Uh, just have proper space and you might get the ball by being in the right spot. Or, you know, by having proper space, you might even cause your whole team to have proper space and it's causing your uh, team to score in that, uh, that situation. I hope that makes sense. So, um, it's not all about just, you know, coming out here killing, it's about coming out here playing good basketball and killing. Or, or playing good basketball can cause you to kill. I hope that makes sense. Just make sure, fellas, like, you know, it's a weird situation we're in. We don't know when you might, you know, you might not even better get to practice with your team and all of a sudden you have to jump into a season. Right, so you right now need all the habits that you wanna you know apply and translate to your season, it's gotta start now. You can't be thinking, oh I got, you know, practice coming up. You might not have a practice, you know, any time to practice. You might, you know, with the situation we got going on, we got quarantine, and all of a sudden you just gotta jump into a middle season, be ready to go. Communication, uh, talking uh, on screens and on defense, like you said, setting screens, moving out the ball. All those little habits, you know, even though it's just pick up, try to make it as game-like as possible. That way, you know, you're already like in that season game mode and not having to try to, you know, adjust. Does that make sense? Uh, one big thing, or one big reason why we stress uh, getting here on time is because we do like the 45 minutes of training, that's for y'all to get loose. And like kind of just kind of piggyback on what Cody's saying is, we, we, we have that to give you opportunity to really work on game stuff. So, like, if, you know, me or, me or Cody tell y'all something or kind of explain the drill, don't, like, go basic to what we tell y'all. Like, use that as, like, a basic form and then fit your game into it, if that makes sense. So you don't have to, like, literally do exactly how we say. You can add something to it, take away something, or do it in a different way. That way, you adapt to your game. That's really how you get better. That's it. Good work, fellas. Uh, work, 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 work,